A 25-year-old man presents with a two-day history of high fever and chills. He does not report any active medical history, but admits to occasional intravenous drug use. His temperature is 39 degrees Celsius, with a heart rate of 80 beats per minute, respirations are 16 breaths per minute, and blood pressure is 124 over 76 millimeters of mercury. On physical exam, the patient has mild jugular venous distension and a new holocystolic murmur, best heard over the left lower sternal border without radiation to the axilla. The patient has no prior history of cardiac disease or surgery. Which of the following microorganisms will most likely be isolated from this patient's blood cultures? The correct answer is Staphylococcus aureus. This patient has high fever and a new systolic murmur that appears to have occurred over the course of a few days and is likely indicative of acute infective endocarditis. The diagnosis of endocarditis is typically confirmed by blood cultures, which also determines bacterial antibiotic sensitivity. Staphylococcus aureus is the most common bug in cases of acute infective endocarditis, especially in cases where the patient is an intravenous drug user. Additionally, Staph aureus can infect native, undamaged valves, and frequently affects the tricuspid valve, again, especially in intravenous drug users. The holocystolic murmur heard in this patient is consistent with tricuspid regurgitation, most likely due to valve vegetations. Septic emboli from right-sided endocarditis may produce pulmonary abscesses and infarcts. Endocarditis and its associated complications, in some instances, can become so serious and progress very rapidly, leading to death within a few days. Fungal organisms such as candida albicans may cause infective endocarditis in severely immunocompromised patients, such as those with AIDS and T-cell deficiencies. In these cases, surgical intervention is indicated. Staph epidermidis and other coagulase-negative staphylococci tend to produce subacute endocarditis in recipients of prosthetic valves. Staph epidermidis infections can be seen in intravenous drug users, but is less common than Staph aureus. Streptococcus bovis is a rare cause of subacute endocarditis. It is found in the normal GI tract flora of 5-16% to of adults. Typically, this type of endocarditis is more common in men and elderly. These types of infections also have an increased risk for colorectal cancer. Viridan strep are the most frequent agents causing subacute endocarditis in previously damaged valves, such as in rheumatic disease or in congenital abnormal valves. If you like this case and enjoy medical cases like this one, check out Clinic, which is our new subscription-based web application, where each week we present you with new clinical encounters and multiple choice questions based on a variety of medical pathology from common disorders to the rarest diseases. Each week, your digital clinic is loaded with brand new cases, which are carefully crafted by our team members, exposing you to medical pathology you otherwise might not have had a chance to see or learn about at school or in your clinical practice. Subscribing to the Clinic app is also a great way to support this channel, allowing us to keep creating great medical educational videos, interactive software, and more medical cases like this one, for free on YouTube or at an affordable price on our website. But if you don't feel strongly about supporting us this way, that's okay. We still would like to show our appreciation to everyone who has continued to show their support for this channel over the years. And as a token of our appreciation, we've created a free collection of medical cases that you can access on our website. Just sign up for a free med school account by visiting the link in the description below. After you've successfully registered, you'll be redirected to the free collection landing page where you could add the collection to your account. And from here, you could immediately start testing your medical knowledge with the various clinical encounters found in this collection. You'll also have unlimited access to this collection, so you can repeat and attempt these cases as many times as you would like, forever.